Well, hey friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. So, like Sondra says, off on another adventure. Um, we, we've bought a small herd of cattle. Um, we've got a bull, uh, a registered Red Angus bull. He's pretty. You probably saw him coming off the trailer. Registered Red Angus bull. We've got uh, nine cows and eight calves. Um, and they look pretty good. So our friends Stephanie and Lowry over at Blue Ridge Farmstead, I'll post a link in the description down below to their YouTube channel. Go over and check them out. Got some cool stuff going on. Uh, Stephanie called me a couple of weeks ago and said, hey, uh, some friends of ours have had to disperse of their herd because of uh, some uh, situation on their farm. We've got them. Would you come and take a look at them and tell me what you think? We're not sure what to do with them. So went over, looked at them, and we liked them. Um, there's some cull stuff in here that um, we're going to have to, we're, we're going to feed them out and, and move them along. Uh, but then we've also got what looks like some good breeding cattle and we've got some nice calves. The calves are a little small, it's going to take us about a year probably to get them ready. We think everybody's bred back actually, so we may be having more calves coming up here, who knows, who knows when, but we may be calving here um, in the next few months. So hang out with us for a little bit and we're gonna uh, get these guys out on pasture. They've been in the corral now for two days. Uh, we're gonna bring them out of the corral onto some grass. We're gonna unroll some hay out here for them. Uh, they're wanting to get out. They've been bumping the, uh, our gates around so they could get to grass. So they, they're wanting out. So we're excited to see what they do. Hang out with us for a little bit and let's see. We think they're trained to electric, don't we? Let's see if they're trained to electric uh, and if they'll stay in this paddock that we built. All right, so JW, we're gonna do a little test here, see how they respond to the wire. We just, this is just a non-electrified wire. I do believe the train, don't you? Yeah. See what old big boy does right there. Y'all look at him. I yeah. think I think we're good, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> nice. So, what basically what JW's doing, y'all can see, pull a wire and then just walks up to them, flashes it in front of their face. How do they react? They turn and walk away. So, feel like these animals are trained to electric. We're gonna get them out and uh, put them in this paddock. The right direction right. being the right direction on this one. If you want it in the wrong direction, it uh, should unroll like a mat. Oh, that'll be fine. Opposite of what we unrolled that yeah. other than up there the other day. We ain't got a long way to go. Yeah. If I bought you a knife sharpener, would you use it? No. <laughs> Maybe next time you should try something like a bowling ball. <laughs> See if that'll cut it. <laughs> Maybe you could chew through it faster. I'm going to bring a spoon out. Yeah, bring a spoon. Eat through it. Yeah, I'm just guessing. I mean, you know, 
Well, they probably uh, put the gate back up over here too. Yeah. All right, so let's talk real quick about what we've got. And for some of you more experienced cow guys, I'd be interested uh, in your opinion. So leave me a comment down below if you think I'm kind of guessing this stuff right. First off, I've got this big girl right here. Um, big, tall, lot of leg, bony in the back. I think she's probably mostly Holstein. What we're going to do with her, we'll feed her out for a while, um, finish her as much as we possibly can, and then she'll probably go and be whole cow hamburger is probably what we'll end up doing with her. <clears throat> I've got this little guy right here, little uh, red white faced Hereford looking guy. Um, Stephanie and Lowry said that the previous owners um, that said that uh, the neighbor's Hereford bull had got in um, with them and uh, I think that's all that certainly looks like, certainly makes sense. Looks like the offspring. That's a bull calf. Um, we still need to band him, but we're going to band him. Um, Everybody else here all look like Black Angus to me. Um, there may be a little extra stuff mixed in, we don't know, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep out the best moms um, and the ones that produce uh, the best calves for us. We think the bull's been in with them. We think everybody um, is bred back. So a uh, couple other critters of interest right here I'm not going to go up there too close to that bull um, the cow standing next to the bull right there um, black with a white belly she looks to me like she's got a whole lot of Holstein in her um, she does have a calf on her she'll be another one that'll that'll go pretty quick but we'll see how she does we'll see if she gets her condition back but she's very very bony right now um, I'm not sure what she's gonna do time will tell I got this little guy right here. He looks like a mini something or another. And he looks like part buffalo, or I don't know what he is. This is the smallest one of the bunch. We think he's a month or two old. We don't know how old he is. We've been told that they're somewhere between one and nine months of age. And then lastly, I've got this little bitty guy right there um, beside of the, well, actually it's, actually it's a heifer, uh, right there beside the bull. <clears throat> it looks like Jersey to me, but he's also got a lot of coloring in the face like the bull so he's he's off of one of these so he's probably he probably just caught that red gene and he's carrying the red color i think that's what's going on the bull um sorry about the shakiness the bull registered red angus good looking boy will be three years old in about a month and a half to two months we'll keep him one more round see how he does we don't want him to breed i don't think i want him to breed any of his daughters We'll just, we'll see, you know, we're two days into this, so we've still got lots of time to make lots of decisions. So again, for those of you that are more experienced cow folks down in the comments, let me know what you think, everybody else. Um, either, ha I've got one other bull calf in here that needs to be banded. We were gonna band him when we picked him up the other day. But we put some new tags in him. We were gonna band him, but we didn't have a bander big enough. He's uh, very developed, so there they are. Do we need the block in the back? You think? Uh, no, it, it don't work. It, it's not working. There we go. All right, we got. Is it running? Yeah. Okay, good. All right, so for our customers that, that buy off of us, um, we don't use a pour on wormer. We use a product called Shakely's basic h and i'll leave a link in the description down below for that stuff if i can find it. it's kind of tough to find it's expensive what to get what the five gallon bucket of that stuff cost us today yeah it's a hundred i think it was a little north of a hundred dollars but quarter cup in their drinker what's the regimen three days in a row yeah three days in a row every couple months every couple months so yeah and this is what salton uses swears by it it's all natural basically it's <laughs> it looks like dish soap to me but they uh, they do get the poops pretty bad after it. So got that in there. We'll turn the, <clears throat> we'll turn the water on, and then they'll have at it. Just give them a little salt for. Uh, why do we give them salt? 
Because it's the thing Mineral. to do? Mineral, yeah. Mineral. Yeah, we give them a little salt just for we mineral. We don't have any kelp or else we'd mix it. Yeah. 50-50 better. Yeah, we, we need to find a little kelp. So we found a distributor. Um, I think we're going to get start giving them a little kelp. Okay, we got them out. Everybody, uh, they've been grazing along the wire now. JW and I have been watching them probably for 30, 45 minutes. They graze along the wire, but they're not testing the wire. So we feel real good about them being trained now. Um, everybody's... For the majority, everybody is much more interested in the grass than they are the hay, but they are eating a little bit. Uh, they are eating a little bit of hay too. So that should do them for a number of days. Now, next step is going to be the steers. So we've got seven of those um, stalkers left. We're going to work them back down to this meadow, and we'll put them in a paddock next to these guys, separated by wire, and let them sniff each other for a couple of days and kind of get used to being in the same space. And eventually what we want to do is we want to bring everybody together. Now, one thing I want to say is we kept these guys in the corral for two days. They're going to be out here for by themselves for a number of days. Anytime you bring new animals on your farm, you want to sequester them from the rest of your animals to make sure that nobody's sick, you don't have any issues, um, don't have any health problems or anything like that. These guys were over with Stephanie and Lowry for a couple of weeks, I think it was, they were sequestered. They didn't notice any problems or issues. The two days they've been here, we've not noticed any problems or issues. So I think we're okay, but just to be safe, we're gonna wait a few more days before we bring those others down. But, really happy with this. I'm, I'm excited about uh, getting a little bit of breeding stock. Greg Judy always says, uh, put your money in something that'll give you a baby. And so we've, uh, hopefully we've got some baby making machines out here, time will tell. So. Like we always say, please keep us in your prayers. May God bless you and your families, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.